Hello everyone, my name is JBR and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. So we're returning to this warden. I think he's going to tell us what foods we need to calm. I forget what name this guy was. Lord Clever. Yeah. What? You'll mash up his favorite foods into balls so you can throw offerings at him? That's quite an unorthodox approach. You galaxy people, your inventive just blows me away. Now you can make offerings to Lord Clever from a safe distance. I'll lend you my aid if it means we might provide Clever with his offering. Let's begin. Oh my god, what? Whatever the plan is, you'll need Clever's favorite plump beans. I've brought them, as promised. Ah, that's right, my apologies, Irida. I'd forgotten all about you. I admit, as we haven't been able to solve this ourselves, we seem to have little choice but to turn to the galaxy team. But even I still have my doubts about whether we should entrust such a thing to an outsider. These galaxy team people don't share our customs or our values. So it proved to me you're worthy to stand in the presence of our new Pokemon. You may battle by ordering about the Pokemon you've caught in your little Pokeballs. But on my side, I have a Pokemon as close to me as a sister. It's one of my blood. If you can defeat Glaceon and me, I will entrust you with Clever's fate. Will you battle us? Yeah. And allow Glaceon's true strength to chill you to your deaths. Thanks for telling me what your Pokemon is. I assumed it would have been like following you around or something. Ooh, Swift. 60 points of damage. So if I hit him here, I get to immediately attack again. Oh, no. That's... Oh, oh, nice. Alright, he's gonna knock me out here. Even if I was fully healed up, that probably would have still knocked me out. Bite it. Can I catch other people's Pokemon? There shouldn't be a reason that I can't. See now, Pokeballs are simply your tools of choice, not products of disregard for Pokemon. You still understand the Pokemon that you've caught and treat them as partners. I feel better putting my trust in you now. I think let me see your Pokemon's wounds. Now explain the galaxy team's plan. What do you mean to do with these foods? So because you have to keep your distance, you'll mash his favorite foods together, ball them up, and try to quell his frenzy by throwing them at him? Interesting. So you've developed soothing bombs of sort to calm our lord. Very well. If it'll help soothe Clever's frenzy, let's make these bombs with our very hearts and souls. Oh. So we're ju we just have them made now. There, a veritable mountain of bombs. That should please Clever, if anything. Now listen. Re ready yourself, and I will summon our mighty Clever Lord of the Woods. Do it. As am I. Oh, mighty Clever, Lord of the Woods, though it isn't yet the time of ceremony, we've prepared an offering of your favorite things. Better benevolent lord who works his might between the heavens and earth we offer our gratitude and beseech you reveal yourself to our eyes listen well yerba keep your focus on clever dodging will be vital try to avoid his moves as you're throwing the bombs i hope he's massive For some reason I was thinking Clever was one of the swords. Alright, to claim victory against a noble Pokemon and quell its frenzy, you have to throw bombs at it until its frenzy gauge reaches zero. 
If you create an opening in the defenses, you'll be able to send out your Pokemon to battle against it. Win the battle and the guard will stay down for a brief time. During that window, bombs will be more effective than usual. Okay. I'm assuming once I get him down to the next mark. Clever, what type are you exactly? Alright, um. Hit him with water. Okay, good, it's super fun. Oh, these aren't doing anything. I don't know if I can access my inventory at any time. Okay, apparently I can. There you go, buddy. You be fully healed. I know it's probably hard to see because I didn't even see it originally. Get me out of here. As I say, he does have a health bar up at the very top of the screen. Which is really hard to see it. Thought I defeated him, it made me stop moving. Ooh, it's a lot of experience, I think. Are you going to help me? You receive the insect plate. Well, what happened? Some kind of light erupted from Clever's body. Has Lord Clever's frenzied mind truly been put at ease now? Does this confirm that the strange lightning was to blame for Clever's unnatural power? I don't know. Well, this is what I think after all we've seen. We know strange lightning came from out of the space-time rift the other night. There's both must have struck Clever and driven him into his frenzy after all. The lightning came from the space-time rift? But if Almighty Sinnoh really does dwell beyond that space-time rift, then a strange lightning indeed was Almighty Sinnoh's power. And were we even right to try to interfere? I happily went along with this plan to create some bombs, 
if I knew what I was doing. Like some kind of thoughtless fool. Outrageous. Calm yourself, Leon. Remember that the Lord of the Woods has long been our protector, keeping the Pearl Clan safe from dangerous Pokemon that might harm us. With power sent by the true Almighty Sinnoh have driven Clever to turn on us and attack people and Pokemon indiscriminately? I doubt it. But yeah, you're accomplished. I didn't get to read that. I'm glad we could settle this without further strife with the Diamond Clan or the Galaxy Team. If you come across other Pokemon in the grip of this painful frenzy, please help them. Hmm. Yes, fine. I suppose I must concur. I apologize for briefly becoming incomposed. I'm grateful for what you've done for my lord. Take these on behalf of the Pearl Clan. Consider it my apology for ha having spoken rudely to you earlier. A token of my thanks. Three berries. Let me care for your Pokemon as well. I think I've finally come to believe that you truly did follow the sky. Though I still cannot imagine the reasons at play. It seems we've settled things here, though, between you and me. I wouldn't mind seeing Lord Clever in such a frenzy again. He's fearfully strong, after all. Alright. Report to Commander Kamado. some of these berries while we're up here I'd like to get you know like another star while we're oh I yeah I can't I have to clear up some space to use my apricorn apricots Right in the back of the head. Yes. I need to figure out where to find Cherim's at because. They. Someone wants me to find one in my. for Pokedex. Hmm. How strong do I think this guy is? Oh, it's 16. I should be able to fight a 16 alpha. I guess, yeah, we'll see how that... Oh, that's a lot of damage. Knocked him out. I. What is it? 
Oh. EFs be sure. Man. I need to... I need to expand my storage even more. Like, even though I have... I thought I put too much into it already. Apparently I have to keep expanding it. Thrown everyone at everything. I was hoping I could just like plow into it, knock it over. Oh, that apper disappear. I wanted that Abra, even though I didn't see it till I was already up at it. Oh yeah, I wanted to catch this guy. Oh, well, maybe it wasn't that big. Oh, he attacked Burmy, didn't he? Oh well, I guess as long as he hits. Oh, space for one item. Grit dust. I forgot that there's a giant. You can see the volcano and the giant portal above it. I 
what is this? Oh, it's just sparkling? Ow! Which one is it? Oh, it's that one. Ooh, I almost ran him right into the water. Pokemon at. What is this? Attack twice. Let's hit it with a regular Pokeball. Is he still poisoned? No. Level five. That's not worth. <laughs> I any attack is gonna knock him out. No, don't. Oh wait, that's fine. Oh wait, I'm gonna surprise him. a new one. I get to this tree that's moving. Let's see, come on, can I hit it? Oh, no. Yeah, he can run up pretty sharp slopes, but not that one. Hello everyone, I am back. Uh, oh, here's yeah, item storage, because I need to store more stuff like this, uh, these. I don't know what I do with those.
clear up some room to just get more. Yep. Take me back to town. I've got two new Pokemon. Ooh, 3600, not bad. Let's have a look then. Hmm. Most illuminating. Update our Pokedex with this new data. Alright, I don't know what's new, but. Oh. 490, so I need that many more again. I'm gonna back to report to the commander. That's right. Saw the light fading into the sky. You must have quelled the Lord Pokemon. And what do you have there? Could it be? Are those the two of the fabled plates of old? Please let me have a look. I see there are some letters scribbled in them. Let's see. This one says, "Where all creation was born, that is the being's place of origin." It seems to be a phrase from a very old myth. How did you come across these? I see, so you're given the plates when you impressed Wider and Clavelor. That's quite something indeed. My heart is practically racing with excitement. It's my guess that you will find more plates like these scattered across High Sue. If we were to gather them all and decipher the scripts on them, we may uncover something absolutely amazing. The mysteries of the past. Oh, how they tickle my curiosity. What a joy to be alive in such times. I must be on my way. Until next time. Oh yeah, and I guess while we're, before we run in there, I can get rid of this pokey doll that I made for this guy. Why, that's a pokey she doll. I never saw one. Please let me have a closer look. Amazing. Just look how smoothly you've carved these curves. Your attentive carving shows you put love and care into your handiwork. And these colors, you've definitely given it a vivid look, that's for sure. Yes, these hues must be the very shades of your inner strength and passion. Not to mention this Pokey Shido is perfectly balanced. At glance, you'd think it's sure to fall over and yet stubbornly remains upright. Whew. Thank you, I've savored your Pokey Shido to my heart's content. We use the same recipe and yet your Pokey Shido has a completely different feel than mine. Here, I'll give you a Pokey Shido I made. I take great care in crafting it, so have a look and see how it differs. So they're the same. Alright, that was a lie. Alright, Commander! Alright. Yeah, teach me a few more things. Yeah, I still have just short of 6,000. I do want you to teach me more, except just in case I need to buy it. Wait. Oh, there's new missions on the board. Mission request board. Commander! Hm, well done. For I received the reports of your exploits. You successfully quelled Clever's frenzy, restoring peace of mind to Heiser's people. You are a stranger to us, one who fell from the very sky. You have served the galaxy team admirably. I admit you have earned yourself some degree of recognition. But things are not settled yet. I have received word that there are other Pokemon nobles falling prey to such frenzies elsewhere. In Heisu. So carry on with your research and survey duties and prove that you're truly an asset. That is all. You are dismissed. Your fellow members are likely at the Wallflower. Go and join them. It's 
it gonna fast travel me there? That's what I figured. Benny, hold chum. The usual order. Three servings of potato mochi, please. Oh, no, if there's anything else that you'd recommend, by all means, bring it out. The whole village is gossiping up a storm about our young friend here, you know. He's got quite some luck to have come back unharmed after facing off against Clever. I dare say Yerbra was well prepared. And he was a quick study of how Clever moved in battle, from what I heard. I mean, I would also agree. All in all, it's a very good show. A victory well earned. That's me. We can feel safer going about our survey corps duties now, thanks to your efforts. Oh, by the way, why not try crafting some of these? I made the recipe based on directions Benny gave me. Smoke bombs? Benny, what do you what do you get into? Well, I, and now that we need not worry about being mauled by Clever, either. Let's take our chance to study all the Pokemon that call the Obsidian Fieldlands their home. Alright. Yeah, bro. I've been waiting for you. My name's Vessa. There's something real important I need to tell you. Would you come with me? Oh, I just said no. Oh, no, I don't get a choice. Um, this is kind of a secret, but something terrible has happened. Heistu is in a whole lot of danger. Hundreds of years ago, a being that brought calamity to this region was sealed away by someone using the power of a strange magic. But now, for some unknown reason, magic has come undone and the seal is broken. I hate to think what might happen at this rate. So please, Yaira, hear me out. I need you to restore the broken seal. I don't believe you, but tell me what to do. Oh, thank you. I'm so happy you'd believe me. I just knew you'd be willing to help. This odd keystone is for you. Keep it safe. Alright, I don't know what to do with that, but... Mysterious stone that can be used to collect wisps that glow with an eerie purple light. Well, that's creepy. After the seal was broken, a whole bunch of wisps scattered across Haisu. A hundred and seven of them in total. The odd keystone I gave you, you'll be able to gather them all. See, the whisper are normally invisible, but not to the holder of the keystone. I know it's a huge task, but please, you know, just have to gather all the whisper for me. There's one real close to where we are now. How about you start with that one? See that flame hovering over there? Try touching it. Alright, I'm glad they gave me one to, like, to show me what I'm looking for. So, odd floating purple flames. The wisp has been absorbed into the odd keystone, just as it should have been. Thank goodness I picked you to help me with this. Come talk to me if you ever need help f finding the remaining wisps. One last thing, as you gather more and more wisps, I'll give you some rewards as thanks. Wait here for you while you carry out your search. Good luck. Eerie apparitions in the night. Okay, that's weird. The next day. Wow, the team galaxy, the team galaxy, the galaxy team hairdresser really is, dare I say, cutting edge. Oh, hey, you're Yagabra, the boy who quote clever, aren't you? Who's to say? It's me. I knew it. You've got quite the reputation, you know. I mean, you quelled one of Almighty Sinnoh's chosen ones. Some people are actually kind of scared of you for doing something so bold. I'm... Aruza? Aruza? I'm a warden of the Diamond Clan. My special skill is giving haircuts. Really nice to meet you. Oh, snip. But I came here to talk to your Mr. Kamado. See you around. Alright. I guess that's our next mission. Whatever Pokemon problem she's having. 
All right. Um. Yeah. So. Why do I have mission markers on like all the people? I'd just rather I had more. I mean, it'd be nice. Tao Hua refuses to provide me with any new goods. Bring him some hearty grains. Two or three stalks of hearty grains. Do they all need like different things? Oh no, everyone wants a ton of different things. Alright, well, that's gonna keep me busy. Do I have hardy grains? I don't think I do. Alright, well, thank you guys so much for watching. It looks like I'm gonna have a lot of stuff to do. Yeah, next time. But thanks for watching. As always, I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.